Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of VK. So finally, Nokia 9 PureView has been launched. Nokia 9 is one of the most anticipated phones, especially for the camera-centric smartphones. There was a lot of technology that had to be put into the smartphone and hence the launch of the smartphone was a bit delayed. And now, finally, on February 24th at the MWC, the Nokia 9 PureView was officially launched. So what makes this phone different from other phones in the competition? Let's have a look. Nokia 9 PureView. Let's get the specifications out of the way. It has a normal 5.99 inch plastic OLED quad HD display with a resolution of 2280 x 1440, which is a plastic OLED display which we had seen on the LG V30 or the Pixel 2. It has a 3320 mAh battery with a USB Type-C and of course it supports fast charging. It has an in-display fingerprint scanner and a host of other sensors. It has a 20 megapixel front camera. Let's talk about the rear camera later because the main focus of this video is about the rear camera itself. It has a normal Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 which is a flagship SoC. It comes in 6GB RAM and 128GB of onboard storage. These were the normal specifications. Let's push it out of the way. Let's focus on the main thing of the video that is the cameras on the back. Why I am speaking about cameras is because it has five different cameras on the back guys. We had seen five camera setup in the phones before which has three cameras in the rear and two cameras in the front like the LG V40 and also the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. But here in the Nokia 9 Pure View, we got to see uh, five cameras at the rear itself. Now once you are hearing about the five different cameras, you will be thinking it will be having a RGB sensor, monochrome sensor, telephoto lens, ultra wide angle lens or another type of light sensor. But no, all the five different cameras that you get to see on the Nokia 9 PureView is the same resolution sensor. 12 megapixel sensor at f1.8 aperture and 1.25 micron size pixels. So all the five cameras are the same. But the thing that makes different is it has a three monochrome setup on the top the left and the right these three lenses are the monochrome lenses the center lens and the bottom lens is the rgb sensor so how does these five cameras work in any smartphones running on a flagship soc like a snapdragon 845 or an 855 at a time the image signal processor can take the images from only two different type of sensors if there are three cameras at a time it will take from two different sensors combine the image then take the image from the third camera and combine the image take some time to process it and then give the image results this is how the image processing will generally work and similar on the Snapdragon 845 also, it can only take the results from two cameras at a time. But how can five cameras work at a time is the question now. So this is where the collaboration of HMT Global and Light, a camera company, kicks in. Light has a patented, dedicated technology for using and analyzing the images from different camera sensors at a single instant of time and processing all of them once. Light has made a special dedicated hardware for Nokia 9 PureView and the Nokia has used this Light's dedicated patented technology on their smartphones. So at a time, five different images from the five different sensors can be taken into the camera application software. The data from all the five images can be captured at a single instant of time. And now I'll tell you how these five sensors work. The monochrome sensors on the Nokia 9 PureView can capture 2.9 times more light than every RGB sensor that is present. So three monochrome sensors on the rear of the Nokia 9 can capture nine times more light than what an RGB sensor can do on the Nokia 9. So more light that you can put on a subject, more information that you can gather from a subject. Whenever you open the camera application on the Nokia 9, the normal camera sensor kicks in. And once you press the camera shutter button of whatever you want to capture, now the algorithms calculate the distance from the lens to the subject that you are capturing. It will also calculate the dynamic range. It will also calculate the exposure levels of the whole image. It will also calculate the focus point of your main sensor. It will also calculate how much light is falling on the subject and also on the sensor. It will also calculate the distance of the subject above the sea level. It will also calculate is that subject a flat or a different dimensional image. So a lot of different things will be analyzed by the camera sensor. And all this data that has been captured about that particular subject will be processed and a perfect image or a amazing image will be present. So as per Nokia, whatever we can see with our naked eyes can be perfectly captured with the help of our smartphone cameras. And so now you'll be thinking there are five different cameras. The time it takes to process the photo from each different camera will be high, but no. So Nokia has partnered with Qualcomm to use the image signal processor to the maximum extent and it has introduced the image buffering. Whatever photo you capture on your phone will be made into a smaller copy or smaller proxies and this will be put into an image buffer. 
so the whatever the processing or the analyzation of the image that you previously took will be happening in the background so that you can capture another image or the next photo instantly on your smartphone so the time that is required for processing each images from all the five different sensors happens in the background so in the foreground you can easily use your smartphone for other activities without breaking a sweat so this is how it uses the image buffer and smaller proxy copies of each sensor image and makes the processing also faster without having to waste a lot of foreground processor activities this is how the penta camera works on the nokia 9 pure view the nokia 9 pure view comes at a price of 649 euros it will be available for sale from march 3rd and you can go ahead and purchase it nokia has partnered with adobe and they'll be providing the specialized edition of the adobe lightroom cc application on the nokia 9 pure view smartphone itself so you can capture the raw images which of course supports on the nokia 9 pure view those raw images can be imported to the adobe lightroom cc application and it can be edited to give more professional effect another important thing about the Nokia 9's camera is the photos can be focused even after the capture. After you capture the photo, we can control the, the background blur of the photos. Just like that, in Nokia 9, we can control the focus point because it uses five different cameras. The capacity of each camera combined together with the lights, dedicated camera hardware, and the income Snapdragon 845's image processing unit, it helps you to focus the image even after capturing. For example, if you have captured some bridge and if you want to focus on a particular car moving on the bridge, you can do that not just while clicking the photo but also after you have clicked the photo so this is how the focus points can also be changed in the nokia 9 even after capturing the photo and now we'll talk about the blacks and whites since it has three dedicated monochrome sensors you can take the best possible monochrome photos or black and white photos that you can capture in the best possible way in any camera smartphone in the world on the rear side of the nokia 9 pure view there is also one black dot that is present and this black dot is none other than the time of flight sensor or the tof sensor now if you guys are wondering what is a tof sensor it is just like a 3d camera which helps you to calculate the distance between the object and the camera lens it uses a mechanism of light measurement the time it takes the light to reflect from the sensor of the camera to the subject will be used with the help of this information the accurate depth map will be calculated and for using the depth map nokia says it uses 1200 different layers of the subject and stitch them all together to accurately or more precisely calculate the depth map in the particular image photos that were taken from the Nokia 9 pure view and the first look look really amazing if you look at the back of the device there are seven different dots I'll explain every dot right now left dot is the LED light of course obviously it is an LED light the right dot is a 3d sensor or the time of flight sensor the, the top sensor left and the right one is the monochrome the center one and the bottom one is the RGB sensor this is how the whole setup of the Nokia 9 pure view is done guys so guys that was it for the discussion about the Nokia 9 pure view it is an amazing camera centric smartphone it gives a new perspective for creators and photographers to use this camera and take some amazing quality images and share it with their friends and family and also on social media so that's it for this video guys please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and if you guys have still not subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button as we have some awesome content on our channel thank you for watching guys